Come on! Sheriff Gray! <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you! Back in the Valentine and collect on those sheep. What? That wasn't too smart. It was fun. I'll put your share in your wallet. Okay. Thanks. How you doing? And we're live. Welcome back to part 40 of the full game commentary. I do not know exactly how much money we have right now, so I really couldn't tell you how much John gave us. Also, does Arthur even have a wallet? I thought he just crammed all of his cash in his satchel, in between all of his apples for the horse, and pork chops, and miracle tonics, and gold bars. Let's get started. We need to meet Bill and some of the boys at Rhodes. Bill has a plan. Let's hope it's a good one. And I have to say that is a fine looking bank. Greek Revival. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Always nice to see Sean. Looking forward to another mission with him. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... And yeah, just like that, this game will break your heart. And there's no time to process it, we need to go to work. Okay, off to the gun store. Damn, Luke! 
assuming we even get out. Of course we're getting out of here. This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? You see Bill anywhere? Uh, no. This is some damn posse that Gray's rounding up. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches. Arthur is mad and he wants to blow up the town. And then at this point, he thought, why not blow up Micah? It's really Bill's fault. Arthur's anger is misdirected. Let's try that again. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! Let's try that again. What about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him. Can we shoot his hat off? Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this. The lasso is too good for him. How about a little fire? That's fun. Not all. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! Maybe Micah has a headache. We can cure it with a tomahawk. You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. And one more dynamite for luck. Okay, let's get back to the mission. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two-bit thugs from God knows where? You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff! It's over! We put down far worse than you! A hundred times over! This is the Grays town! Always has been, always will be! Only Grays I see left around here is you! You want us to come out? We'll come out! Yeah. Ah, oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Headshot these guys, though Arthur does feel a little bad about killing Archibald. How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. 
They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Maka! Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> Poor Sean. It was Bill's plan, but Arthur blames Micah. I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we we're making of things. We should have expected this. The game warned us in chapter one. Davy dies in the first scene, but we didn't know him or Jenny, and nobody dies in chapter two. And we saved Sean. We met him, and we got to know him and love him. And now we have to bury him. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Returning to camp triggers the next mission. I'll see you next week. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy is back in your lives now.